Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and I am here in beautiful Springfield, Massachusetts. We're making man chops today. Let's eat some man chops. I'm cooking with Firefighter Luis Rodriguez, Greg Smith, and Captain Rob Duffy. So let's get ready to cook on Firehouse Kitchen. We are here with Captain Rob Duffy. What's up, Cap? Hey, how's it going? All right, man, awesome. Nice and to see you. Luis Rodriguez nice to meet you. of the Springfield Fire Department. Firehouse Kitchen is in Massachusetts. Yep. I met Captain Duffy at the Fire Department Super Show, yep. and he's got a really cool project uh, product that we're gonna feature on our safety tip today. But uh, very cool to get invited up here to Massachusetts. Awesome. Lewis is making us some brontosaurus. Some man chops. It's like we're on the Flintstones here. I love it. Um, all right, let's talk about the recipe. What are we doing? Well, normally what we do is for the man chops, we go to Arnold's, Arnold's Game Mark over in Chicopee. Okay. We um, basically take a whole loin, cut it, have them cut it. As far as, um, depending on how many guys are in, normally anywhere from nine to 10 chops out of it. That is one per guy. It's one could, per guy. Normally you could probably feed a family four with this, yeah, but that's yeah. how we do. Um, I don't know, if you get just a camera. Look at that next to my hand. That is huge. Some of the small ones too, the big ones are in the oven. They're in the oven, those will come out soon. Just these things. <laughs> so normally what we do is, um, we do a dry rub with these. Okay. Um, as far as the dry rub, there's really no really set thing. Mm -hmm. I do have my own. I use um, salt, pepper, you know, cayenne, cumin, um, dry mustard. If you don't like mustard, again, well, that, that's what's whatever. in this one right now. That's what's in here right now. Okay. Little brown sugar. Did you say cumin again? You, you can do cumin too. You can do cumin because we had we had cumin on one of our shows, and we all never heard of cumin. Yeah, 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 and true. we were we were cooking with a uh, uh, New York City firefighter, Chris White, and. I never heard of cumin before. I'm like, you know, a lot of these spices we don't use in the fire department. So I say to Chris, I go, cumin. I said, what is cumin? Mm. And I start, he looks at me and he's like, uh, I don't know. And then he goes, no, I'm just kidding. Cumin's a seed from, and then he, he went right into it. But like, it was like, we stumped him on camera and, and the whole crew was like, oh man, Ray, you asked him that question. We thought he didn't know and it, it, was, it was funny. Yeah, it was I mean, funny how we got it. Except for flavor purposes. Again, yeah. there's no right or wrong. You can do store bought, whatever you want. That's the beauty of this. It's quick, it's simple. Um, once you have the rub set up, mix all the spices fairly well. Okay. Then all you're gonna do is literally just grab one at a time, just coat them on all sides. Okay. Then before you transform over the pan, just shake off the excess and. All right, let's do it. Let's let's coat them up. It. All right. Grab one at a time, pop them in here. But again, there's no right or wrong. You can shake them. Normally, I just shake them on both sides first. Now we got an even coat. You give them a little push to get it in there, or you just Not want to just, just want to get it on top. That way. You, know, you, just want to get pounds. you don't need to push it, it's way down already. <laughs> it just, uh, just <laughs> absorbs it. Yeah, yeah. Just want to get in a nice little quick little dry rub. You can use it for a weapon. Oh, right. easily. Yeah. Yeah. You see, once you dig into one of them, they're juicy too, but when they're done, they're real juicy. They're real juicy. Yeah, I don't believe me. Yeah. Again, this is, I mean, anybody could do this. Yeah. The good thing about it is, especially in the firehouse, we're busy here. Mm -hmm. You know, so say, for example, you get a call. Yeah. You can come in a little earlier, get this going early. Once okay. you sear it up, that's the main thing. You, get, you want to get a nice sear on this first before we throw them in the oven. Okay. So once we're done seasoning these up, put them on. Get the grill so nice and hot. What now? What part of the what part of the animal is it? Is that? It's huge. Loin. It's just the loin. Just the loin. You buy Gosh. one whole loin, have them cut it up to you know. They cut it up. Oh, that's it. Comes to that yeah, that long piece. Yeah. Remember the first time you went to the butcher and you told them how many you wanted out of the loin? Oh, what did you say? Crazy. You thought it was insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. You can be two out of that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easily. <laughs> You could easily feed a thing like a whole entire thing off one of these. Well, firemen like to eat. Yeah, it's yeah, one of our favorite meals. Do it. Plus, like it's Lewis said, if you go on a run uh, and it's sitting there, I mean, you can come back and this is almost two meals. You can eat it the next day too. Easily. Yeah, yeah it's, it's unbelievable. The main thing is, I mean, the whole purpose of the meals one, obviously, to eat, but it keeps us, mm -hmm. it keeps us close, you know, for the camaraderie. Yeah. Because again, in a lot of people, what they don't realize is, once you're at the station, you're away from your family. Mm -hmm. We're away a lot. You know, we miss holidays, we miss dinners. So to keep us all together, I mean, what better way than our food? Yeah, yeah. You know, everyone chips in. We all, you know, that's the time when we can sit there and just talk. 
<laughs> Set to eat, have a good meal, and just... Yeah, well, that's it. Everything revolves. I made a little trailer, and it says, in every firehouse, the first thought on every firefighter's mind oh, is... What's for the yeah, that's what meal. Always say, is yeah, what's no. for the meal. We call the, do you call it the meal here? Everybody wants to eat, nobody wants to shop. Okay. <laughs> or clean. Yeah, that's what now, you have a uh, story about you shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah what uh, happened with that? Like I said, nobody wants to shop. So I, what I said one day is that, I said, all right, I'll shop. So I went to the store. I bought the most expensive filet mignon I could buy. I bought the biggest shrimp I could buy. I bought the most decadent dessert I could buy. And I came in and I started cooking the, uh, cooking the meal. And the guys started coming in and tasting it, and uh, they were like, wow, that's a, that's a pretty good meal, man. This is awesome. I said, oh, yeah, it's going to be great. And they were eating the shrimp. They were dipping it in a cocktail sauce. It was, it was unbelievable. So they all sat down, and the question came up, how, was it, how much was a meal? I said, don't worry about it. Just eat. Eat the meal. Eat the meal. Everybody ate it, and they loved it. So after we were done eating, I went over to the chalkboard, and I took the receipt, and I started putting the numbers on the board, and I came up with uh, how much it was per man. It was about $33 per man. So everybody, when I showed him that, everybody was pissed off, and I never had to shop again. It was unbelievable, so. You want me to shop? This yep, is what you're gonna it. eat. Yep, I only yep, buy good it. stuff. That's it. Look at yep. it, I feed this good yep, stuff. Yeah, yep. so I never uh, had to shop again. And and usually, you know, I've said it before, we don't like to go over $5 a minute. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> if, if, it's, if it's five or six bucks, they start crying about it. So you can imagine, imagine that. And I had, one of the chiefs was here, I had to rope him into it, but that's, you know. You had to uh, take a couple casualties sometimes. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, so we got them. Yes, sir. Up. So now what are we going to do with these now? Next step, both sides on the grill. And throw them in the oven. All right, while we are doing that, we're going to go to our fire safety tip. We're going to do the quick step. Quick step anchor, yep. All right, very good, and we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip is the quick step anchor. I'm here with Captain Rob Duffy of the Springfield Fire Department. He actually invented it. Rob, go for it. Yeah. Explain to us. Quick step anchor is a uh, safety step that you anchor into a roof. It's carried hands free with this uh, safety lanyard right here. Let's say that Ray and I were gonna go up onto the roof and do a little vertical ventilation. I'm gonna send Ray up first to sound the roof. Now, if Ray sounds the roof, and the roof is unsafe or it's decayed to the point where we shouldn't be up there, our job is done. We're not doing anything else. If Ray says the roof's in good shape, we're going to work. I'm gonna come up right behind him with the chainsaw and make a curve cut into the roof. I'm gonna take the quick step anchor off, which is carried hands free. I'm gonna set it into the roof. Now it's adjustable to any pitch roof. Mount the step into the roof. This is my safety lane. Now I can go to work. I don't need Ray down below with a pickaxe axe or halligan. I'm gonna make my cuts. And then I'm gonna have Ray go and pull the pull the uh, the roof, and he's gonna push the ceiling down below. If I happen to slip or fall, it's gonna stop me from falling off the roof. Not only that, I can self rescue and pull myself back up. I'm gonna sense double my manpower. I'm gonna get off the roof a lot quicker. You can use it on any pitch roof and any type of roof except for slate or clay tile. Now, in the event that Ray and I are paying attention to what's going on below us, and the fire starts blowing out of the windows and the eaves, we get trapped on the roof. What we can do is use this as an anchor point to repel off the roof and save ourselves. Really not much more to it than that. It's only 11 pounds, all aircraft grade aluminum. The Quick Step Anchor. That's our fire tip for today. Thanks a lot, Cap. Thanks. Sir. Awesome. To find out more about the Quick Step, go to quickstepanchor.com or go on our website, firehousekitchenshow.com. I'm Firefighter Ray, and these tips save lives. Wow, that quick step is unbelievable. Cap, Thanks. how Appreciate did you come up with it? About 11 years ago, a friend of mine fell off a roof. Uh, we were at a structure fire, and uh, he should have died, to God's honest truth. He's, uh, his name is Biff. Uh, he, uh, he's about six foot five, six foot six. He fell off a two and a half story roof, and um, I was in a hospital for a long time, and that coupled with um, that when I got promoted to captain, I got sent out to the training center, and I was training uh, firefighters on rooftop operations and noticing their tentativeness of uh, being on a roof. Um, this idea just came to me one night, and uh, I got up, I sketched it out like I was telling you earlier. Uh, next day, I went to a metal shop and made a prototype, and, and uh, a couple years later, here I am after uh, filing patents and stuff like that. So it's really a gift that was given to me, and I, I don't take a lot of credit for it, to be honest with you. Oh, it's unbelievable. I, I mean, it's it's pretty close to to me because I actually felt, and that's what put me out of yeah. out of uh, that. And it's awesome. You yeah, know, yeah. I think it's going to save a lot of firefighters. Yeah, yeah. Lives. The second leading cause of firefighter deaths deaths is uh, our falls. Yeah. I'm not saying the falls from roofs, but they're falls in general, and, and roofs are uh, uh, and ladders and roofs. Dangerous job. You yeah, know that. First hand, yeah. you know that. Yep. I always say when it's good, it's good. Yep. When it's bad, it's very bad. Uh, no. yeah. All right. What's next? 
Next is a side dish. One of the side dishes we're gonna have, and it's, uh, it's mashed potatoes. Uh, it's not any ordinary mashed potatoes. These are real loaded mashed potatoes. And uh, what we're gonna do is we already boiled up the potatoes. We have them uh, partially mashed here. And we're gonna add the ingredients. Uh, the first ingredient here is sour cream. Right. Uh, Ray, you want to throw that in there? Throw it in the whole thing? Uh, yep, throw the whole thing in. Oh, Load yeah. it right up. We're going to throw a whole thing of sour cream in here. We're going to start mixing this up. Uh, it's probably the best mashed potatoes you ever have. The next thing we have is uh, cream cheese, a whole, cheese whole bar of cream cheese there. You can throw the whole thing in. We're going to mix that up. All right. Gonna mix that up. And then we have, uh, we have some it. butter. Some butter over here too. Oh, by the way, all this stuff that we're putting in here is it's, it's low calorie, believe it or not. I mean, this, this looks like it's really bad for you. It might be, I don't know, but <laughs> the, stuff, the stuff we're putting in is all low calorie, so. Um, well, you know, sometimes we cook with butter yep. and, you know, and a little yep. high calorie stuff for the flavor, yep. but, uh, you know, hey, you can get low calorie and have good yep. flavor. Yep, yep. Now we're going to throw a little salt and pepper into taste, mix that up, and, uh, you know, just a little bit of milk because we put all them other wet ingredients in. We're going to put a little bit of milk in today. There we go. That's good. Beautiful. We're going to mix this up, and uh, that's about it. Anybody can make them. That looks delicious. All right, so. We got our, our chops. Yes, sir. They're all sizzled man up. Man chops, man chops. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, this, man, it's not yeah, a pork yeah. chop. When you see the size of these things, you'll know why they're man chops. <laughs> Trust me. We love man chops. Sure. We, we got our potatoes. And uh, I think we're going to go to our bean dish right now. And then uh, when we come back, you know, we'll eat some food. And uh, let's go to a fire fact. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray. And today's fire fact is the scaling ladder. It's a little bit of a history lesson. We don't use these anymore, but the scaling ladder was used to get to high rises, to floors that we can't get to in case they were blocked by fire. Back when we were using these, we didn't have the tower ladder yet. So to get really, really high, we would use a scaling ladder. We would go, we feed it out the window, we hook it onto the window sill above, and then we would climb up. And that's how we would get to the upper floors in high buildings by using the scaling ladder. I'm Firefighter Ray. This is my fire fact for today. Wow, that was a very cool scaling ladder. What do you call it? You call it the... Pompier. They used to call that a Pompier ladder, and what fighter footers used to use to scale the outside of the buildings uh, back when our fathers were on, as a matter of fact. They were still using them. Yeah, oh, yep. pretty cool. Yep. We have firefighter Greg Smith. Greg, everyone calls you Smitty. Yeah. Awesome, so I'm going to call him Smitty. All right, Smitty, this looks amazing. What do we have? We have beans. I made an ultimate omelet once. This is the ultimate bean. I don't know. Go for it. Uh, you have four different kinds of beans. Uh, there's butter beans, great northern beans, red kidney beans, pork and beans. You got brown sugar, granulated sugar, an onion, a half pound of beef, a pound of bacon, uh, chili powder, salt, pepper, ketchup, molasses, mustard, barbecue sauce. Wow. Bean explosion. Holy cow. Holy mackerel. And there's no syrup in here, you said, no. right? No. That's the molasses. That's the molasses. It's so liquidy. Oh, my goodness. It is. Beautiful. Yeah, sticks this, to yeah. your ribs. Definitely sticks to your ribs. Yeah. Sticks to your ribs. That's this a could, meal in itself. That's what I said. It's gonna be yeah. a meal in itself. This is yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. All right, so we got our beans. That's gonna be on our dish. That recipe that he just went through that I I, I didn't even catch up on it is gonna be on our website. And what do, and what do we got else? What last else? thing, last thing that we have here is we got the asparagus. This is very, very simple. Uh, what we're gonna do is obviously we I already cut off the ends of the asparagus, that's hard. Uh, we're gonna take the asparagus and we're gonna put it right into uh, this tray here. Lay it down. We're going to take some olive oil, some nice olive oil, lay it right over the asparagus, and then we're going to toss it a little bit. I'm not going to make Ray do it because he's going to get his hands all, all oily. So what I'll have him do is, uh, if you don't mind, yeah, yeah. So uh, what I'll have you do, if you don't mind, throw a little bit of sea salt on here. Okay. And that's it. That's all you're going to do is the olive oil, the sea salt, put it right on the grill. After it comes off of the grill, just a little more olive oil and sea salt, and it's probably the best asparagus you're ever going to have. Wow. Yeah. Right. And yeah, we already awesome. have some sitting on the grill right now with the chops. Yep. So uh, very cool. We'll throw that in. Yep. We got to bring the pork chops in. Yep. We're going to throw them in the oven. Yep. And uh, let's, let's do that. Let's go get the pork chops. Sounds good. All right. They are grilled up. Now, Lewis. Yes, sir. They are, we said it before, we're going to grill them just to sear them. Just to sear them on both sides. You want to get a nice char on both sides. Just helps the cooking process and really just gets the flavor on them. OK, so they're not, I can't think about it. No, no, not at all. No, no. Okay. Unless you want to start so, growing, but. What we did, because they take so long to cook, is we put a, a set in the oven a couple hours ago. Yep. And uh, why don't we bring those out? We'll put these on the side. This is what they look like when they're all seared up. Very good. We got our asparagus all seared up. Uh, uh, I'll put this on. There you go. And, uh, and we're going to take out a batch. All 
Okay, they've been talking about these man chops. Man chops, oh, yeah. correct. Fork tender. Fork when, we were, when we were off camera, I called them pork chops again, and Lewis said, what, what'd you say? You call them pork chops, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna kill me. <laughs> these aren't your typical pork chops by any stretch of the imagination. You'll probably lose our religious belief when you see these, but... Uh, there you go. Yeah. Pork tender. Wow. Good size that I want on the end. These are fall off the bone, this stick to your rib. The junior guy gets Phenomenal. these. You gotta make sure he eats it all. Unbelievable. Let's put a little, put a little of the juice on top. The biggest misconception about these two, a lot of times, because of the size, people think they're gonna dry out. But that's the main thing. Once you sear them, it really just holds all the juices in as you just bake them in. It. Once they're done, you know, you can ladle them. Now, where did you get this recipe? Oh, we just came up with it off the top of our head. Now, you say. It was myself and Smitty. You were saying before they do a lot of experimenting, right? Oh, yeah. Definitely experimenting. You're talking about what was the sandwich you're, you're going to come up with? The, uh... the Latin Murphy. The Latin Murphy. <laughs> Latin Murphy. And what was, what's going to be on the Latin Murphy? Um, we're thinking pork shoulder and corned beef. Can't go wrong with yeah. either one, so. <laughs> meat and more meat. That's it. Yeah. Chaser of meat. Now, you were telling me a story before about a probe in your firehouse. I thought it was a great story. You had, yeah. you had to use it on the. Why don't you tell America what. Uh... Yeah, it's actually about a uh, firefighter. It's off camera here. His name's uh, Evan. Uh, his, his first day on the job. This, this was probably about 10, 10, 11 years ago. I was on a rescue squad, and I uh, came right out of the academy into the rescue squad, and the first hour of the first day, we had a uh, double fatality car accident. He went to both of the people that were in the car were about his age, and uh, it was a bad accident. It took a while to cut him out. And uh, just, just the, the skin that you build up after being on the fire department for years, right? You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about, that uh, you see stuff like that all the time. And I it had slipped my, my memory that he was a new guy. And we were walking away from the car accident, and, and uh, he looked at me and now said... Now, this is his first hour yeah. on his first yeah, day, yeah, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. First hour, yeah. first day. Yeah, so we're walking away from the car accident, and he, he looks at me, and he, he said, uh, does this happen uh, a lot? And I, I just looked at him and said, yeah, every day. And I just walked away, and uh, I didn't. It didn't. I didn't realize it till later on, a couple hours later, when I was in a station, that uh, it was a kid's first day, and uh, it was probably traumatic for him. So, so we sat down and talked. But he became a fine, uh, fine officer now. He's a lieutenant now, and uh, a great guy. But uh, yeah, it's stuff like that. Yeah, happens every all the time. day, every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I probably should have chose my words a little better, but uh, nice. live and learn. You said you were in the rescue squad. What yeah. is? What's the difference between in, in the rescue squad and, and being just on a regular engine in a truck? Uh, the rescue squad, you, you go to a, a wider range of, of incidents. You go from anyone from uh, a jumper off of a bridge, a high angle rescue, uh, you're going uh, search and rescue uh, inside, the, inside the fires, uh, automobile accidents, uh, could be anything. You know, it could be anything. Um, they, they're going to call. They're going to call the rescue squad for it. And you, it's something that you have to. You have to have a good knowledge of being on an engine, a ladder, and, and thinking outside the box. Because a lot of stuff that you're going to do, you're never going to do again. You know, it's uh, it's challenging. I, I, I like the squad. I've been on the ladder for a number of years, near years now. But uh, you know, the rescue squad is very interesting. When did you read the, leave them? When you got promoted? Yeah, yeah. when I got promoted, I went out to the training center for a year. That's where I came up with the quick step anchor, and then mm -hmm. uh, I've been on a ladder ever since then. Yeah. Awesome. So, so actually, now that I'm on the ladder, ladder's the best. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, yeah, hey, rescue we... squad, uh, ladder's the best. Yeah, yeah, ladder, we search and rescue. The engine yeah. puts out the fire, yeah. so, you know, yeah. we get all the glory. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. a metal day. So yeah, yeah. one or two engine guys are going to metal. Yeah. It's always yeah. ladder guys. Yeah, ladder. I didn't see engine work. They just put the water on the fire. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's plate these. Get this, let's plate it up. All right, let's do it. Yeah, Lewis, I'll let you do it. Actually, I'll give you the honor. Grab right. that okay, I'm going to grab one of these man shops. If I can get the tongs around it. Oh, he's going right for the big oh, boy. Very good. nice. That's one. Uh, let me grab some beans. I'll make one full plate. Beans Two. Oh, this is my plate, so these beans look good. I'm going to grab a little potatoes. All right, and some asparagus. Two hands on that plate now. Two hands. That's one. You only want to put Here we go. Jeez, look. Oh, my goodness, it's falling apart. This is amazing. Holy cow, look at this. I'm actually glad you got that, so you see. Oh, so we got that, so you see how how tender they are. And juicy. No need for a knife. No knife No knife needed. All right. Little potatoes. Yeah, I'm not making the most beautiful dishes, <laughs> ah, but it's hey. gonna go down nice, so. You mix it all together, it goes down nice. Yeah. Good. And right here. And last one. You know, give me the big one. All right. Give me, I'll give you the all big right. plate. I'm gonna take okay, the big plate. Go. Okay. There we go. Now, if you notice our plates, our, our uh, crockery here is firehouse decor. 
Very rarely do we have matching plates in the fly no. house. You know, the plates that people, guys bring from home. Yeah, tag sales. Tag sales. Yep. I remember I was drinking, uh, one, one time, guy walks into the kitchen and I'm drinking out of an applesauce jar. And he's like, what the heck? I said, hey, there's no more cups left, you know? So that was a very normal occurrence in the oh, fly house. Yeah. What we're drinking and eating out of. Oops, I need my, where did I put my tongs? Oh, all right, my tongs. I put them down over here. Very nice. Yeah, you're not gonna find much stuff that matches in the fire house, but it doesn't affect the taste, so it doesn't matter. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. We gotta taste this bad boy. Yeah. All right, these pork. I mean, no, no. Man, hey, shops. man, man shops. These man, man shops. shops. Uh, so let's clean up, and uh, we're gonna taste. I feel like Fred Flintstone right now when they put that big piece of meat on the side of his car. Look at this piece of meat. This is unbelievable. All right, are you guys ready to taste? Yeah, right. let's you do guys it. have had let's it. Do let's do it. this. Hey, give me that. What are you doing? You don't need a knife. No knife at all. No knife at all. Put the fork in it. Are you kidding me? Look at I told you. Falls That's right the apart. Falls right apart. Falls right apart. You don't need a knife on these. Best pork no chop you'll ever have. What do you think of that, Ray? Be that's, honest. That's unbelievable. Oh. Holy Good cow. Well. And that's, you know, this is good for you. This is all protein. Oh, yeah. there's, there's no junk on this, you know? All good stuff. You're not going to get that in any other firehouse around the country. We're the originator. Actually, Lewis and Smitty are the originators of this. So you're not going to get that anywhere else. To get the full set, you're going to need a widescreen on that. Oh. It was this. <laughs> Well, hey, watch this. I'm just gonna kick this right apart. Well, work time, I told you. It's falling right off. Who's fell apart? Don't forget to eat your Speed veggies. There you go. Don't forget to eat your veggies. Mm. Oh my God. Okay. You know what? Asparagus, I, you know, I can't wait to eat those. Well, but those beans, I was, I was really eyeballing. Oh. The Smitty's beans. Old family secret, right, Smitty? Yeah, <laughs> in-laws. All right. Can't go wrong with this. On oh, the firehouse, you never know when your meal you're on is going to be your last meal. So mm -hmm. we try to we try to uh, put Thank a lot of best. effort and time mm. into our meals, and it actually, like Lewis was saying earlier, brings it brings a group closer together, it brings firefighters closer together, cooking, everybody cleaning up, and you're working together as a team. So so it kills uh, two birds with one stone. Two birds with one stone. I'll tell you, having a meal before I die, <laughs> if I'm <laughs> 80, 90 years old, and this is my last meal, oh, yeah. I make it there, I will die a very happy man. You may find it ended up on death row. <laughs> oh, so many guys might want it for a last meal, you never know. <laughs> mm. Potatoes, delicious, everything is delicious. Yep. Mm. Remember the first time we made these? Oh, Most yeah. brought them in, they were huge. How are we gonna cook them? Yeah. Cook them on the grill, they're gonna dry out, throw them in the oven, you're not get the barbecue no. flavor. And then we had guys tapping out. Three or four guys tapped out. They couldn't even finish them oh, the yeah. first time we made them. Uh, <laughs> one guy made sick. I'm stuffed. One guy made a necklace out of the bones. Mm -hmm. Who's that, George? George you know he made a necklace out of the bones. To find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. You can get these recipes. Yep. You can find out about the Quick Step Anchor. Yep. We, we're going to have a link to his website at firehousekitchenshow.com. Friend us on Facebook at Firehouse Kitchen. And uh, that's it. I'm going to keep eating my man shop. Thank you. Lewis, awesome, oh, awesome. Amazing. Rob. My pleasure, thank you. Great, Rob, thank yeah. you for putting this all together. Oh, this thank you. Unbelievable. And we will see you next time on... Firehouse Kitchen. Kitchen! All right! Let's eat some man chops with my manly friends. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Unbelievable. <laughs>